Hello everyone, today is October 25th, 2010, and I am back for another video. Cheers. Okay, no, seriously, I got a little glass of wine. I just finished some homework. It's about midnight. I have to get to bed early because I have exams and essays and work and everything going on. By the way, I got a faux hawk. Yeah, it's getting a little bit grown in. I have to get it cut again. It's been two weeks since I made a video. But anyway, today's topic may seem very self-explanatory to many of you, and you may even watch this video and think, duh, Coover. Give us some credit, who do you think we are? But on a serious note, this is something that I learned myself just recently, and I thought maybe making a video a bit about it can help some of you. Uh, and that topic is pretty simple. It's how to stick up for yourself. I can't emphasize to all of you how important it is to let people know what they can say to you, what they can't say to you, and when they cross that line of disrespect. It's very, very important for when you when you when you get older and you become an adult because it is not fun when people feel the need to say things to you that are disrespectful it's not cool when people walk all over you and take you for advantage and it's most definitely not cool when people talk shit or say shit behind your back or are racist or homophobic to your face so setting boundaries for yourself is something that is very important for, I think, everyone to do. You get to set your own boundaries. You get to choose. And, and this is something that I, I, I it's so funny because I'm 23 years old and this is something that I, I recently just learned. But you get to choose the people with whom you want in your life. You get to choose how you want to be treated. You get to choose all these things. It's not predestined. It's not already set in, in stone. You are the creator of your relationships and you are the creator of, who, of, of how you want to be treated. And, and it was like this big light bulb. It was like, oh, well, I don't like the way he talks to me, so I'm going to let him know. I, I don't really necessarily like this person in my life, so I'm not going to have him in my life anymore. And if you, if you, if you think about it in a very logical way, you can, you can create boundaries for yourself and you can allow people in your life with whom you like to enjoy your time with and start pulling away from the people who you don't. And this may sound very easy, or this may sound very simple to some of you watching, and I really do applaud you for having the courage and the common sense or knowledge of knowing this already, because I do know people at a very young age who know this. But then I know people like myself who haven't really you know, acknowledged that. I kind of am very open, I, I am very nice, and I kind of just go with the flow, I hate confrontation. It's very nice to be nice. Uh, I wish I had better words to describe that, but I don't. It's refreshing to always be the one who is, who is non-confrontational, who won't always voice your opinion because you don't want to upset anyone else's feelings, who is friends with everybody because you like peace and harmony. But uh, not to sound, not to sound bad, but uh, I've learned that my life is a little bit more fulfilling and happier when you do voice your opinion when something pisses you off and when you do set boundaries for yourself when somebody crosses the line and when you don't let everybody into your life automatically because they're a human being but you actually let people into your life who deserve it and by doing these little things and by acknowledging these things it it makes life altogether more fulfilling and it makes people respect you too so to all of you who may be a little bit uh, insecure or who may be in the closet or who uh, you know is really nice to everyone and doesn't ever voice your opinion, step up. Say your opinion. Tell that person you don't agree with what they have to say and say what you want to say. Don't let that person walk all over you. Let them know that you're not going to take it anymore. And, 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 and stop being friends with people with whom you don't want to be friends with anymore. Don't hang out with people who don't like. Don't hang out with people who make fun of you behind your back. Don't hang out with people who are two-faced. It let people into your life with whom you appreciate. And it will, it will completely change your whole entire perspective of your reality. And I am 23 years old and I'm learning this now. So with that said, I wanted to share that knowledge with all of you. I hope this is not something that is considered silly and like, 
Duck Hoover, why have you not, you know, how, how, how have you not known this? But as simple as it may sound, I think a lot of people may know, may, may feel like they know, well, yeah, I'm going to say what I don't like. But I know so many people that sit back when someone says something they don't like and they don't, and they don't say they don't like it. But it's good. It's good to say that. It lets people know what type of person you are. And uh, it also makes you more of a human being of, of communicating, letting people know who you are and what you stand for. So I hope this meant something to some of you. I hope I hope someone learned something from this video. If not, I apologize. And I will be back next week for a, another video. Mwah.